Hi everyone, this is Michael Tridhart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to chat with you a little bit on how to go in and get the Keller Williams mobile app set up the right way. And these setting changes, if you have not already done them on your phone and you have downloaded your app, then you will have to go in and remove the app from your phone or from your tablets and then also remove it from the stores for these changes to be seen. If you make the change today, decide to share it with a client later today, then they will be able to see those new updates. So just know that by making these setting changes, it doesn't automatically affect the app that you have already downloaded. So here's how to go in and get it set up the right way. So number one, you're going to come over here and you're going to go to mykw.kw.com. You're going to log into the back office. You're going to come over here to where it says profile next to your photograph and you're going to click it. And when you do click that, this screen appears. You're going to go to the other column, my referrals edit. When you click that, this screen appears, and you're going to go down this list, and you're going to confirm a lot of this information. This is, of course, for your white pages, but what specifically matters here is designations will be shown on your mobile app, and that's how you adjust it. That's the only place that you can adjust it. Your photograph is going to show on your mobile app when they, when they first open it up, and you'll see that here in just a second on my phone. Photograph will flash. Designations will flash. And then if you scroll on down the page where it says business phone, double check and make sure that the business phone is actually your cell phone as well because that's the number that if they decide uh, from the app to contact you, to call you, that's going to be connected to the business phone. You want that to go to your mobile phone. So make those changes. Hit save. Then you're going to come back over here to mykw.kw.com. And if you go to where it says technology, you see this huge list, go down to the third item, which is KW Mobile App Resources. Click on that. That's going to bring you into the back office of your mobile app where you can see the download reports, you can see marketing, you see what the app's going to look like, you see all your uh, script links over here, all this information. The one we're looking for is view your mobile app download web address. I'm going to click on that. That's going to bring me into the back office of my e-agency site, but that is also the back office of WolfNet because WolfNet powers up the mobile app and it also powers up your e-agency site. So we're looking at step 4.5. And if I come over here and I hit the drop down, if you've never set it up before, yours is going to say none. You choose your market center. Mine says Plano, of course. Then you're going to come down and where it says mobile app service area, you could type in Plano, you could type in DFW, you could type in the Metroplex, you could type in uh, whatever phrase that you want to use. Keep in mind it needs to be pretty short, pretty concise, because it will be showing up on a mobile device. It's not 20 cities that you service, not 15 cities that you service. It's a phrase. It's an all-encompassing phrase that you want to use for your area. Then you come down here and you would check this box and hit Save. So once that's all saved, we're good on that page. Then you would come back over here. We're on step 4.5. Go to step 4.1. On step 4.1, you want something in the WolfNet URL space right here. Now mine is a full-time training record, so that's why it's showing something different. But you want something here. You've got to have WolfNet URL set up for your e-agency site. You've got to have WolfNet URL set up for your mobile app. To start that process, contact your market center. Maybe it's your tech coordinator, maybe it's your MCA, but you most likely are going to have to have paperwork. Not every market center has that based on MLS rules, but the majority of them do. And you will have to have paperwork filled in for you to get an IDX link, IDX link from WolfNet. Once that has been turned in, once you have the link, then that link will be placed right here on step 4.1. Keller Williams support will do it for you, but they'll also send you an email to where you can take it and put it in there because it takes them a couple days for them to do it. But once I have that information in there, then I hit save, go to step 1.0, 1.2. When I go to step 1.2, if I want my name to show up in all caps on the mobile app, you can do it just like that. You would put it in all caps right there. Your designations are being pulled from the white pages. You could populate the majority of all this other information from the white pages as well. Double check the phone and double check the email. Make sure that that's right, it's spelled right, because that's how they're going to contact you from your mobile app. So those are the behind the scenes settings. 
you would hit save on all of those. Pretty easy stuff. Now, what does this look like when it's in action? If you come over here, I've got my phone pulled up. If I click on the KW Realty mobile app, give it a second for it to come up here. There's my photograph, there's my service area showing on the home page, there's my name in bold showing as well. And then here's all the information on the mobile app with my contact info in play. So if they want to contact me, they're going to email me, they're going to call me. It's got my name on there, it's got my area. Life is good. It's all set up. So that's how you go in and get it all set up in the back office. If you have any further questions on the mobile app or anything else, always go to michaeltrithart.com or you can email me at michaeltrithart at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you. Thanks and have a great day.